What's up guys, Retro Gamer Gen X here. In today's Let's Game, we're gonna be playing a bunch of Atari games basically on the Atari XEGS game system. Uh, I have my Atari Max flash card in here. So we're gonna, just gonna be playing a few different games, uh, none specifically really. Uh, but that's how these Let's Game series are gonna kinda go now. It's basically more of commentary for me while I'm talking with channel updates, news, just different things uh, coming up. So uh, while I'm doing gameplay, so instead of just looking at me while I'm talking, you guys can, you know, watch gameplay. <laughs> Some old school retro good gameplay. So uh, let's go ahead and get started here, guys. Uh, so the first game we're going to play here, I think, is going to be Battlezone XE. Uh, that game actually was released for this system um, specifically. So really cool game let's go ahead and get it started here i'll grab the joystick now i'm not very good at this game guys so we'll just give it a shot here see what happens uh, but anyway i wanted to let everybody know that i do have my website up and running now i'll go ahead and post the link up above for it so you guys can see that And then I'll also post a link down below as well so that you guys can see that. Now I have also created a Facebook page um, for Retro Gamer Gen X. Now I do have the Facebook group. I've had that for a while now. Uh, but I do have a Facebook page now as well. Uh, so keep that in mind. I'm going to go ahead and post a link above for that and down below too so that you guys can see that. Uh, and go ahead and follow me on the Facebook page. Also on Twitter, too. I'll, I always post a link down below for that. I'll post one up above for that one, too. Uh, so you guys can see the Twitter. So you guys can go ahead and follow me on Twitter as well. All right. So it looks like I'm not dead yet. Jeez. Usually I'm already shot and dead by now. Um, but uh, as far as my website goes, guys... Uh, what I'm going to be doing on my website right now is just basically posting links uh, to like my playlist for YouTube on there. Uh, I also have a donation thing at the bottom of the page to donate to the channel if you wanted to. However, that's not up and running yet. I have to get all of my banking information and all that squared away first before I can start taking donations. Uh, so that would be pretty cool. Um, so definitely some things coming up on the website there. Another thing I just kind of wanted to bring up to you guys too is that on the website, uh, I'll be refurbishing some old retro gaming systems and things like that. And I'll be posting them for sale on that website instead of like eBay or anything like that. I don't feel like paying all those eBay fees and all that crazy stuff. I just want to sell it for my, my store itself, you know. Uh, so I'll have a storefront set up on that website too. And in fact, this weekend I went and went to a garage sale slash estate sale. It was more of a garage sale than it was an estate sale. Um, but I did pick up a couple of Ataris there. Uh, they look to be in really, really, really good shape. Um, however, I haven't powered them on or checked them out or anything. They're just kind of still sitting. Put them down in the garage. They're kind of just sitting down there right now. Um, because I haven't seen what they are like. Uh, cosmetically, they look really good. Uh, but functionality-wise, I really don't know yet. I'm dead. Oh, wow, he didn't shoot me. I'm surprised. But yeah, this is a pretty good battle zone game, guys. Uh, it's not too bad, actually. I think he just shot at me, that guy. I'm trying to turn around to get to him, but as soon as I turn around, he'll be right there. See, I knew. So anyway, game over on that one, guys. But uh, yeah, I definitely wanted to kind of let you guys know about the Facebook page. Uh, so like I said, I'm posting links above and down below for that. Go ahead and follow me on Facebook. Also, uh, follow me on Twitter. I'll, you know, I'll put the link up above and down below for that as well. And then my Facebook group, if you guys wanted to join that, I'll put the link for that up above and down below as well. Um, and for my website, link above and down below. 
Now, like I said, my website's really not all that great yet, guys. You can visit it, but there's not much you can do there besides just go to like YouTube playlist, and that's about it right now. But it is set up and ready to go, just so you guys know. All right, let's go ahead and get on to the next game here, guys. So let me, I got to swoop the camera over and go down and turn it on and off. So bear with me here. All right, guys, so there, turn it on and off there, so good to go. Just kind of paused it for a second so you guys didn't have to see me get up and do all that. So I guess the next game we're going to play real quick here. Um, I love Choplifter, but unfortunately I hate this version of Choplifter. It is a really bad version of it. Not a fan of it. <laughs> I like the one on the Coleco, the one on the C64, the one on the uh, SG-1000. They are great versions of Choplifter. This one is just, yeah, I don't like it at all. Uh, let's see, what else do we got on here? Uh, Hero, I'm sure you guys have seen a million times with me. Uh, you haven't seen that version, but that's okay. Uh, let's do Montezuma's Revenge. I think they're doing a, uh, a re-release of Montezuma's Revenge on some system I read about. It'd be kind of cool to see this, uh, game out there again. I haven't seen this game in forever. And it's just your side-scrolling platformer, basically, guys. No different. If I could climb up the ladder here, that would be nice. You gotta grab keys to be able to get through doors and other things. Everything, that's your enemy. If they touch you, you die. Um, I'm sure other people have played this game before as well, but... And, like, say, if I were to go down that cliff right there, I would die, so you have to go down the ladders. But, yeah, pretty a pretty fun game. I don't know. If you guys haven't played this, uh, I would definitely check it out. Um, it is definitely one of the harder games, though. I'll tell you that. Like, this is going to be really difficult here. Oh, come on. Get me up there. And, of course, the bat takes me. Why is it always the bats, guys? It's always bats in these games. I am telling you. My worst enemy in all these games are bats. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get past this guy. <laughs> I am not very good at this game either, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys it. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, see, you can't just... Oh, uh, that's horrible. Well, I think I'm going to die just attempting to get across here, guys. Like I said, this is a really difficult game. At least it is for me. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, one more life left. Let's see if we can get across here. Probably not. All right. We're going to try something different. We're just going to hang off like this. There we go. Can we... What am I supposed to do there? If you can't fall down there... Well, anyway, I don't know, guys. So there's Montezuma's Revenge for you. Like I said, pretty fun game. I've actually gotten a lot further in this game than that. But, uh, yeah, we know how that works course when i'm playing on youtube i always die really quickly <laughs> but anyway guys let's go ahead and switch up another game on pause while i get that switched over here all right back again here guys so let's go ahead and pick another game i don't know what i want to play here i was playing this pharaoh's curse the other day another really hard um, game <laughs> i didn't get very far in that one either uh, Pole Position, Popeye, Pong, Quicks. All these great games actually on here. Let's see what Space Invaders looks like on this system. Really, this is Space Invaders. Wow. I would have never guessed that. I was expecting more like Atari 2600. Uh, I got to hit the start button for this one, guys. There we go. Wow, this is definitely a different version of Space Invaders. 
Like I said, I'd never had an Atari 8-bit computer growing up, guys, or never really used one up until, like, recently. So all these games and all this kind of stuff are pretty much brand new to me. So I haven't really played too many of these, but yeah, definitely a Space Invaders game. A little bit different of a Space Invaders game, but it is Space Invaders. We don't have the little, like, uh, barriers to protect you from the shots or any of that kind of stuff. That's kind of odd. I don't know if I would really call this Space Invaders. <laughs> it's definitely a little bit different than your normal Space Invaders game, that's for sure. Alright. Oh, and then the little rocket ship comes down. Look at that. Oh, of course it does. To make it harder. I've always learned with Space Invaders, if you take out like the whole column instead of just rows, it goes a little bit better at first. <laughs> kind of like ye that. Oh, if I would have got that guy. There we go. Now we can start working on the rows. Yeah, what more can I say? It's Space Invaders, or a different version of Space Invaders. <laughs> I was really expecting to see something more like the 2600 version on here. Definitely different, though, I gotta tell you that. Definitely a different uh, type of Space Invaders game. Oh, of course. I'm trying to mess with the camera and then I die. Of course. So anyway, guys, uh... I did want to go ahead and let you know, too, that the merch thing, like I said, is going to be happening here soon. Still haven't got everything all set up. Uh, I think the first things that I'll be selling are coffee cups and uh, probably baseball hats or t-shirts. Actually, t-shirts. Uh, so, coffee cups and t-shirts is what you'll be seeing in the merch store when that gets put up. And I'll let you guys know when that all gets put up, too. Um... I don't know if I'll be selling my merch from my website. I might have links taking people to where you can purchase it. Uh, because the storefront that I'm actually using, I think they want us to use their storefront instead of something from, uh, from like my website or something like that, you know. Yeah, and these Wico joysticks, guys, I don't know if you're uh, into Atari or... Commodores, Amigas, or anything like that. But these Wico joysticks, I just love them. They are probably the best joysticks you can get. I wish I could get the one for the 5200. The analog one with the little joystick or the little keypad or whatever on the side. That's pretty cool. I would love to have that. Uh, I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. I'm so negative all the time. Yeah, I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. They are getting awfully damn close to the ground now, though. I'll tell you that. I know the Atari 2600 version, I can play that and play that and play that and flip the scoreboard over, kind of like Asteroids in the 2600 version. It's just that simple and easy of a game. This one's a little bit more difficult, I would have to say. I'm avoiding more and more shots. Like I said, you don't have those barriers to protect you like you do in normal Space Invaders. So it does make it a little bit more difficult. Oh, goodness. There we go! Another level done. Oh, of course. Why did I move over like that? But they're just laying off shots now. They're like, yep, you're not going to take us out. <laughs> oh, come on. I didn't even get a chance to move. Well, I guess I'm dead now, guys. So there's Space Invaders on the 8 bits uh, Atari there. So pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and do one more game before I let you guys go here. Put you on pause real quick. 
Alrighty guys, so I know I have showed you guys this game before. I'm gonna go ahead and play Hero once again. I just, one of my favorite games from back in this generation. Uh, from like the, uh, what would you call it, early to mid 80s, something like that. It's, it's just a great game, I loved it. And this version here looks pretty cool. Now the ColecoVision version is definitely different. Um, same kind of gameplay. But this is more like the Atari 2600 version. It actually even plays like it. All the patterns are the same. Everything's basically the same on it. Uh, besides the graphics, graphics are a little bit better. And I like this one better than the uh, C64 version. It, it, like I said, the C64 version just has way too much going on on the screen. Uh, they tried to do too much graphically and it just kind of ruined the game. Um, so let me go ahead and... I gotta hit start again here, guys. Hold on. All right, there we go. Hit the start button. Let's go ahead and play. Uh, as you guys know, the purpose of this game is to save these. I guess they're miners that are trapped in these mines. Uh, honestly, I probably need to read the instruction booklet again to see what the full story is. But uh, pretty cool game. I'm not gonna lie. This is. Probably one of my favorite platformers from before when Mario, uh, Super Mario Brothers came out. This and Pitfall 2, probably my two favorite platformers. Because everything else was more like Montezuma's Revenge and the Pharaoh's Curse. I mean, they were good platformers, but they just, they lacked that certain, I, I don't know what they lacked. But they just didn't seem maybe top quality. No, I'll probably catch some heat from that from people that like Montezuma's Revenge and things like that. But uh, the quality of these games, obviously, because these are, you know, Activision games. These are just amazing. Now, also, guys, another thing I kind of wanted to bring up, too, is uh, you guys might have seen me drop a lot of videos all at once. And then maybe there's a little dry spell. Um, whenever there's a dry spell in my videos... Um, Usually that's when I'm working on one of those a look at videos because uh, those take quite a bit of time to try to produce and what I do is try to do a lot more gameplay videos. Oh, of course I died. Uh, I try to do a lot more of like the uh, straight up gaming videos and other gameplay videos uh, just to kind of keep the algorithm happy and feed it so that you know it'll still keep recommending my videos uh, when I do release those a look at. So, if you guys see a lot of those gameplay videos start popping up, you know they'll be in a look at coming soon. <laughs> I don't know, those are my probably my most popular videos on the channel or the look at videos. Uh, but I do know that people love these gameplay videos too. And I know people like the repair videos, so it's not like I'll ever stop doing those. Um, and it's kind of weird. I think that's one of the reasons why my channel has a problem uh, getting the YouTube algorithm to kind of follow it is because I do so many different things. I'm not just a repair channel. I'm not just a gameplay channel. I'm not just a history channel, uh, a retrospective channel, any of that. I'm all of the above. And I think the YouTube algorithm gets a little confused with that. So, like, when I do, like, gameplay videos, it'll try to send out recommendations or suggestions to people that, like, the repair videos and then they just don't watch it because obviously they don't like that they like the gameplay videos and the same is for the people that like the repair videos they start getting the gameplay videos so it's just kind of one of those things so just keep in mind guys i try to keep everything kind of you know equal as far as what i'm doing uh but i'm going to try I started working on it yesterday in a lookout, and I'm trying to get that done by Friday or Saturday this week. No promises, though, because I got a lot of research to do for this next system that I'll be taking a look at. Um, so a lot of research has got to go into it. In fact, I feel like I kind of cheaped out on the 7800 video because the history section of that was only like three minutes long. But quite honestly, guys, I couldn't really find too much information about like the engineers at uh, GCC or anything like that, uh, who actually developed the system, the 7800. Um, I searched for a good day 
on YouTube and not on YouTube, but on Google and different other sites. And I found one name where he was the lead engineer um, at GCC during the time. But it didn't really say if he actually worked on the 7800 project or not. Or what should I say, the 3600 project at the time. So I didn't really want to include him into the video because I didn't have all the information there. And I didn't want to put out wrong information on my video. So, oh, of course. Um, so I felt like the 7800 video was just a little short on the history section. But that's just my opinion. Um, I'm hoping you guys kind of liked it. Who knows? <laughs> oh, come on. Really? I hit the wall? Uh, all right, we got to go this way now. Uh, that's the thing about this game, guys, is once you start playing this enough, you'll start, re you know, remembering all the patterns and what's where and what you got to do and all that. I'm pretty good up until usually about level 14 is where I start really dying. Um... And there's really no end to this game. It just kind of loops back around. I think there's 22 levels in all. I want to say 22 levels, maybe 25 levels, something like that. And then it just loops back around to level number one. <clears throat> so really no end to this game, unfortunately. It would have been kind of cool if Activision would have put an ending in this game. Um, I know in Pitfall they did. So I'm not quite sure why they didn't in this one. Maybe just because... They wanted people just to run up the score to see what they could get to get those badges, you know. <laughs> those good old Activision badges back in the day. Send in a Polaroid with your score and we'll send you a badge. Or a patch, I should say. Not a badge. Oh, come on! I'm telling you guys. How many lives I got? I only got one life left. Like I said, every time I'm on YouTube, it's like I can't play games. I think I just spend too much time running my mouth than I do playing a game. <laughs> but that kind of brings me to that uh, that Top Gear video, guys, I did the other day, last week sometime. Uh, that was the longest YouTube video I had ever done. It was like three hours and 40 some odd minutes. And honestly, guys, I didn't think I would make it through the first few levels of that game. Um, I picked it up and kind of enjoyed it. Um, I played it a few years back, but... I totally forgot about it till I found it on my flash cart. I was like, oh, I'm going to make a video about this, this game. And, uh, you know, I figured after the first, like, maybe 10, 15 minutes, I wouldn't qualify and the game would be over. But before I knew it, there was, like, an hour gone by and then, you know, an hour and a half went by. And I was totally invested in it by that time. And I, I had been recording. So I was like, ah, oh, you know, I could speed this up and do whatever, you know. But I was like, you know what? Since this is a straight-up gaming video, I'm just straight-up putting it out there. This is, you know, all the way to the completion. So I finished the game there and kind of showed you guys how that worked out. Really? I died again? I'm on my last life here. What level am I on? I'm only on 11. Oh. Yeah, I am really a lot better at this game than this, guys. But, uh, yeah. I know last night I was playing this. And I got to like level 20 or something like that before I died. That was pretty good. Alright, 11, 11 and 12. So I only need 6,000. So every 20,000 points you get an extra life in this game. So let's see if I get an extra life. I doubt it. I'll probably die first. Yeah, you guys can see the graphics in this are so much better than they are in the 2600 version. I think we need to go down, actually. Yes, we do. See, like I said, you just got to start memorizing these patterns. And then you got it. Spiders there. Lovely. Great place to put a spider, Activision. There we go. Now hopefully, 
This is the hard part with this game with these joysticks. It's way easier playing this game with a D-pad. With the joystick, you kind of, with those walls, you can't touch them. And you have to get so close to the ledge. You just kind of barely got to hit the joystick. And uh, it'll do what it needs to do. But sometimes you go too far. Oh, no, I ran out of time, guys. I was right there, too. Oh. Well, anyway, guys, that's going to end it for today's Let's Game video. Hope you guys enjoyed the Atari XEGS or the Atari 8-bit line of computers that I showed off today. Now, there are a ton more great games on this system. Like I said, I didn't actually uh, have an Atari 8-bit computer growing up. I had the Commodore 64, an Amiga, and an Apple II. Those are the computers that I basically had. So, uh, really, the 8-bit line is all pretty much brand new to me. And me just discovering some of these great games that are on it. Now, I'm still biased. I'm a Commodore guy, so I'm going to say, oh, yeah, Commodore is still better than the Atari 8-bit line, you know. But uh, my view is starting to sway a little bit towards Atari these days. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Y'all have a great one. Peace out. Game over, man. It's game over.